What's up, Kane Insider fans? It's the Beast, Brian London, coming to you live from the uh, the home desk. So uh, here we go with uh, today's report. Team practiced on the baseball field today, as we showed you yesterday. If you follow all my twi tweets at Miami Radio Beast, field was just inundated with water yesterday. So they practiced on the baseball field today. Um, as far as we know, they still got the same amount of work in as they lead up to Savannah State. Al Golden was at practice today despite not feeling well yesterday and being unable to uh, conduct his weekly uh, media press conference. So it was good to see Al out there today. Uh, from the very little I did see a practice, it looked like everyone was uh, hustling out there in good spirits. But uh, I, I did not see much uh, this morning. Meanwhile, after practice, Al Golden talked about a few things. One of the questions I asked him was about the philosophy he has on, you know, paying these opponents to come down and play Miami. And a lot of times it ends up being lopsided games. And he said, you know, he wishes uh, the system were a little bit different, but uh, this is what it is right now. So uh, he has to uh, do uh, what everyone else is doing or else uh, there won't be, uh, you know, they have to find out-of-conference opponents. Meanwhile, uh Meanwhile, uh, I asked him, listen, you know, just as I asked Stephen Morris yesterday, um, there were plenty of other people uh, who have, uh, plenty of people this week who have, uh, sorry, I got distracted, my mother walked by, I'm not sure if you uh, noticed that, but there are plenty of people who have act, asked about um, what the offense has not done right. Meanwhile, uh, I wanted to know what the offense has done right, and Al, you know, talked about really it's the effort. These guys have given great effort blocking down the field, haven't given up on anything. Even if plays haven't gone their way, the guys are still keeping their heads up. And I think the bottom line is, um, as we'll come to find out, especially once we get into ACC season, that this offense has not uh, shown everything it is capable of. Um, they have kept several plays in the back pocket, several uh, philosophies in the back pocket, and uh, will probably take those out once they hit the Atlantic uh, Coast Conference season. So I would expect the next two weeks to be pretty vanilla. Um, I would expect this week to be a heavy dose of the run, uh, try to get Duke some some good numbers uh, with some with some high percentage passing. Try to get Steven on track as well. Um, but that's uh, what we uh, that's what we expect. Meanwhile, Al was asked about the guys he thinks are going to red redshirt. Uh, Walter Tucker is one he mentioned. Ray Ray Lewis is another guy he mentioned. Um, you know Hunter Knighton's injured, so he's out. Uh, he'll get a red shirt. Sonny Odagwu. Um, most likely going to get a red shirt. Uh, Standish Dobard um, might get a red shirt. So we'll see uh, what happens. We'll see who plays in this game. Basically, if a guy does not play in this game, if the Canes are up big, he ain't going to play all year uh, unless there's an emergency. So pretty much look at your participation chart after this game, and you'll figure out who's going to red shirt and who won't uh, for the Miami Hurricanes. They'll be back at practice tomorrow. It is closed to the media. Meanwhile, we have All Canes Radio tonight, live from Shake Shack, 8 p.m. Uh, on uh, the all-new FM 104.3 AM 790, the ticket. Come out and join us. We have plenty of giveaways. We have former Cane Randy Phillips joining us, and we have lots of fun at the Shake Shack. So Shake Shack tonight, 8